So, Moko, what did you do before you went to sleep yesterday? You put in your earphones and listen to music? Good job! And have you been watching Netflix? You've been binge watching it. Well done. Moko? Moko? Moko, I need you to focus. Moko, just listen to me for one... Can you put down the phone? <laughs> one more time. Hi, my name is Jeanette Goodall, and I'm the lead scientist in the Consumer Evolution Project. And I'm also the caretaker of Moko. The purpose of our study is to understand and research how media and technology affects our behaviors. In this, MOCA was a great subject to, to research. However, it was very difficult at the beginning. MOCA? MOCA? Hi. Do you want to? This is the phone. He wouldn't interact with media at all and oh. would get quite aggressive. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> So we decided to use a different tactic. Moko, this is a remote. Yes. And now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, right? Yeah. We designed all of the media um, around him to not have an off button. Like this, he would be completely immersed in, in all of the media artifacts. The next step was to teach Moko to interact with media. He quickly found enjoyment in this um, because he had now become a proactive user. Okay, careful with the bananas. Finally, he came to see media as a personal extension of himself. Moko has been a great subject to study. He really has evolved in many ways. He even has a following on Instagram and Twitter where you can follow him on Moko the Monkey. Really what our research shows is how we end up living in media rather than just with it.